instruments here. So I just wanted to show you guys my game and the improvements that I made to it. So I actually deleted everything from the old game file except for the map. So I deleted all of the vehicles and Essentially, I had a little bit of the info on how I improved with the vehicle handling and stuff, and I transferred it over to a new project. So the old project was like 16 gigabytes. I'm not sure why it was so big, but this new project, since I only transported the map, it's only like 5.66 gigabytes and uh anyway so the new project i decided to just start over from crap some from scratch on the game mechanics so essentially i started with the advanced locomotion system the advanced locomotion system is a free add-on on the Unreal Marketplace. So, essentially, somebody took the third person character and greatly improved on them. And then I took this and I greatly improved on it. So this is the old map. Let's just find a car. But essentially, watch this. So essentially, now. I can shoot bullets out of a gun. The bullets have a bit too much energy behind them. Okay, so I put the game in slow motion. As you can see, the bullets are shooting. And I essentially began to program a bunch of stuff. So I programmed entering and exiting vehicles again. That wasn't difficult. I have also begun to program I have also begun to program in, I don't know what you call them, but let me just, so essentially splines, so I've started to program in splines, so essentially splines, this is how most people program in vehicle movement in the game. So right now, my game, the only cars are sitting in car parks, abandoned, essentially, and the city is kind of dead. However, watch this. Essentially... Yeah, fall from. Check this out. I enter the box, and this starts moving. So yeah, this is the first step in getting my vehicles moving using splines. Uh, what else have I programmed? 
Yeah, I got rid of third person and replaced it with advanced locomotion. I've been working on the world a little bit and replacing textures. As you can see, all of the buildings with these cool interiors, uh, they all have these ugly glass textures. So now, check this out. Look, you can see into buildings like this awesome stadium here. Yeah. I added some new buildings. I added a bunch of stuff, really. So, yeah. Uh, I also made it so that this isn't the main map. So essentially I have a small map that doesn't crash the world as much and that doesn't take so long to load and that I do the majority of my work on. It's the advanced locomotion uh, starter map. So yeah. Let me just find it. So, I came to a realization. Um, previously, I was just working on building my world bigger and bigger. And I really didn't focus on blueprinting. Blueprint is the programming language, for those who don't know. That comes with Unreal Engine. And that you do a lot of game walking. So, essentially... I began blueprinting a lot, so as you can see, the colored boxes are the ones that the person who made it originally made, but I made all of these other functions, and I also, this isn't all of it, this is just one instance of blueprinting, so. As you can see, join a vehicle, a car, a plane. I actually have planes now. I'm just going to show you that real quick. Uh, so this is the plane. As you can see, it's built on Unreal Engine's own flying map. I mean, flying system. And you can fly a plane, essentially. You can also drive cars, just like in the old model. And I programmed them. All of this logic, right? So, you can like shoot people, and there's blood. I keep, I'm not a good shot. Yeah, you see, I'm a terrible shot, but you can also shoot people with a bow. And headshots kill them, but shooting them anywhere else just does damage. You can also shoot an assault rifle. Wait, look. So there's no assault rifle, right? Well, what's this on the ground? It disappeared. As you can see, now I have an assault rifle. And I'm out of bullets. But I pick up this box of ammunition, and now I have a hundred bullets. And I programmed in all of this blueprint logic. It took me a long time, but like I programmed in spawn projectiles out of guns, uh, 
act that takes damage when falling from the tall height, but not from like a regular height. Player gets shot by bullet. Headshot. Player gets shot by bullet in the body. Hit by arrow. And then player shot in the head by arrow. And as you can see, there are these programs attached to the end of each damage program that checks if the player is injured enough to uh, to die and it kills them when they're injured enough to die but this logic I also programmed a bunch in the programs are like all over the place in all of the different blueprints I modified them all pretty much I made it so that you can run people down with a car Check this out. So, you can run people down with a car. When you used to bump into people with a car, it didn't do anything. They could, like, stop a car, but now it kind of, like, Kills them, you know. You can exit the vehicle. Yeah. Oh yeah, and I forgot. If you fall from a tall height, like jumping off a ledge, you take damage. So I took 10% damage right there. So yeah. I'm I'm still working out the basic game mechanics, but I'm starting to get a little bit of a hang of it. I might even add moving cars soon now that I know this blind stuff a little bit. So uh, yeah, hope you enjoyed and see you in the next video.